30 seconds back. And here comes dinner. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry? I was talking to my producer. How do I look? Good. No, nope. producer again. Is he just screwing with her? Mm-hmm. Come on. In three, two. It's been two weeks since a group of protesters began camping out in Zuccotti Park here in New York City. The Occupy Wall Street movement has turned to social media and held marches through the streets of the financial district. Here in the studio today is one of the leaders of Occupy Wall Street, Shelley Wexler. Shelley, Don't take the bait. It's good to be here, but I am not one of the leaders of OWS. We don't have leaders. Is that a good idea? Not having leaders? Yeah. Yes, because this way everyone's sure to have a voice. Sounds like a lot of people talking at once, but tell us in a few words what OWS is protesting. We are protesting a variety of issues. The co-opting of the government by the rich, the lack of any prosecution for the crimes that led to the collapse of 2008, Citizens United, social inequality. So not any particular thing. Not one particular thing. You're protesting against lots of things. The list of things we're protesting against is as varied as the protesters themselves. I've seen protesters holding signs that say we are the 99%. Yes. I am the 1%. Some people would say I'm overpaid, but I'm not. I'm paid exactly what the market will bear, which means I'm paid what I'm worth. So, which system would you replace capitalism with? We would... I wouldn't replace it with any system. I would make the system fairer. By passing new laws? Yes. It's Congress who does that? Yes. It's legislation like Dodd-Frank that the banks really fear, right? Yes. If your congressman or your senator or the chairman of the House Financial Services Committee or the Speaker of the House wanted to hear the demands of OWS, who would they meet with? We're not looking for a meeting. They wouldn't be able to meet with anyone, right? Look, I'm trying to find the virtue of a leaderless movement where everyone's voices are heard. That isn't the point. We want everyone to look at Occupy Wall Street and ask themselves the question, why is this happening? I think that's been taken care of. But what happens after people ask themselves that? Change, we hope. How? The same way change has always happened. What is your best case scenario for how this ends? That it doesn't end. That it doesn't end? That's right. Even if you put the heads of the banks in jail, overturn a Supreme Court decision, ensure greater social equality and give everybody money, you're still going to be sleeping in Zuccotti Park. Like most of the media, I don't think you're taking this seriously. Is there any chance it's because you're not? Hey, it didn't go that badly. Fuck off. Oh, come on. I am humiliated and in shock. This whole thing is messed up, and he's a fucking asshole, by the way. He's not, but... Trying to be funny at the expense of the guest. I, I don't think it was as bad Which as you Which way do I go to get out of here? No, you, you need to take me to the guy. What? The guy in the park. You think I'm disposed to doing you a favor? No, Shelly. Shelly, we need to meet this guy. We need to read the report he wrote. No. Shelly. Forget it. No, I can't tell you what this is about, but it's way too important to I use as a payback. I could have gone anywhere. I did this as a favor to you. I need you to take me to this guy. Then we're both having a bad night. He didn't do anything to you. You tanked. Oh, no. 